team. What is going on? Tuesday in Dubai. Ooh. Dubai Fitness Championships start on Thursday. So today for the athletes is probably like their last higher intensity day before they then probably take a kind of chilled cardio sweat out day Wednesday or just totally rest. So uh, let's see who we can go find. Also the view's incredible. Hey, that's the sale one. Lots of money to stay there every night, lots. Also from the minibar last night, Jazz and I were blown away that these cost you four pounds and 40p. Very expensive Pringles. But once you pop, you don't stop. <laughs> Tell me you're in Dubai without telling me you're in Dubai. Damn. It was a parking garage if I ever did see one. <laughs> um, this weekend, Willie said that he wanted to be number 44. I thought about a boycott for this weekend just to, to make a little pressure on the FIA, but uh, I think it will, doesn't work, it will not work, so... It's worth a try. <laughs> a little bit of context. This is a Max fan, so we won't talk to him today. But uh, even oh, yeah. Josie was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, he sent me these memes two minutes ago. Yeah, it was a yeah. nice meme. You yeah. it now. This is Josie. Your favorite athletes turned up to the one of your favorite athletes. One of my favorites. Uh, we have Roman Penikov here, and my uh, Armenian buddy, who's now everywhere I go. Yes, exactly. Yep. Did he turn up to the gym with no shoes on? That's real style. I've never seen a more colorful box of clips in my life. I can really appreciate it. Willie George's went pink. Always got to add a little bit of style, eh? A little yeah, bit of style. Just the French touch. <laughs> yeah. Red clips. Red, red shoes. There's a theme going on here, babe. I was sweating before I walked in. Hey, look. He bought a towel. <laughs> Someone's smart, you know what I mean? Michaela Norman on the bike. Raymond Krenikov. Wow, he's only just come in, but that looks like he's at 180 already on the back squat. One of the Dukic brothers over there. Loads more coming. It's gonna be full across. The whole championship is just gonna be in here. We're like the pre-party. Yeah, we're the pre-party. <laughs> Just to rewrite history, cause I'm in the mood to label us the leaders of the leaders of the new school. This ain't for the You had fun getting over here. Yeah, I mean it was like a 28 hour journey, I think. What? And then our bags, we thought they were in Portugal for like three days, and turns out they never left Canada. They're still in Toronto. So Emily was cleaning her own clothes in the bath. <laughs> yeah, doing the old uh, hotel. How's the time difference? It's 12 hours exactly, so it's like, it's like I'm on a night shift for two weeks straight. Si quieres presentarte para la gente del blog que no sabe quién eres. Ah, I'm Fabian Benayton from Spain. I'm this year fitness on Spain. What has fascinated me today is how many pairs of grips Emily has brought to Dubai. An, an outrageous. You know what, I don't even think there's going to be that many pulling events that she could use all of her grips. Do you know they're, like, you know how light they are? Yeah, true. I'm gonna make my suitcase over. There's a small collection here. <laughs> There's a small collection. It's not like bringing loads of lifters, I suppose. No, I mean. I mean there's like, there's a pair for every movement. Like sometimes you got the fingerless whole ones. You know, I've got my more well-worn ones, the new ones. Unlike you. Unlike me. I'll bring three t-shirts. I'll bring three t-shirts. <laughs> the other day we went on a trip and Jazz told me to pack my socks. And I got to the trip and I went, Jazz, I haven't got any socks. And she goes, I told you, pack them. Radio, can't find this on YouTube. This the type of killing that these critics say used to. Victorious. 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 In this day and age, I got time for... 
What's going on? No, just pa just packing, packing for the day. It's done for today. Did good workout, yeah. good flush session, stretched, and now it's just like recharging. Maybe a little bit more intense tomorrow, just to like get the body ready. Yeah, yeah. Just to fire up CNS a little bit tomorrow, and that's it. Then it's go time on Thursday. Depends, of course, how many day, how many workouts we have on Thursday. But I think it's only one. Maybe two scores. Yeah, I hope. I hope. Like the the more workouts, the better. Uh, they announced that it's going to be seven events, and we met the organizer in the hall at the Jumeirah Hotel. He also said we're going to have seven events, but maybe it's going to be double scoring or something like that. But 700 points is still really a lot. But it's not it's not 15 like at the games. So you don't have like you can't. You, you really have to push from the beginning, so... Just, you gotta go hard all the yeah, way. Yeah, just getting ready for that first event on Thursday, and that's it. Josie's doing my job for me. I'm like mid-training, he's getting all the content. <laughs> that's for the foot content people out there. They got the free of charge. Oh. Yeah. So you usually put the left on the right and the right on the left? According to my husband, yes. That is the biggest bag I've ever seen in my life. Saying, yeah, this is my carry-on that I couldn't get any gym gear in. Just all grips. So I brought Jazz over because you wanted to. Hi, how are you? <laughs> you wanted the McLaren. You were like, "Can I drive the yellow McLaren?" I, I I really don't mind which one. I like McLaren, but I'm more of a Ferrari guy actually. But then we got the Lambo, and it's like luxury, and it does sound amazing. The McLaren's a bit like a kit car. It's Need the P1. Need to get the P1. If someone came up to you right now and said, I'll give you a car under 300 grand, Ooh. what would you take? So much choice. I think with 300, I would get three, actually. Not by just one. So I would get like a, I don't know, E63, <laughs> M5 Comp, and then for the Earth, maybe a Tesla. Maybe. No, no, the Taycan. I would get a Taycan. There we go. Yeah, that's what I want. There we go. Three. Three for the price of one. I saw you doing some intensity, some pull-ups, some... some Well, it, intensity, relative. <laughs> I went slow, but yeah. I mean, we did. We got off the plane yesterday very late, trying to sweat it off. You no feeling choice. like in good shape? As of right now, yes. I don't know if I'm gonna get tired today or tomorrow because at some point, like the jet lag gets you. Um, but I f I'm feeling good, feeling healthy. Um, hopefully, I do some great things this weekend. Oh, I don't know. It's within the top three. Top three. Worst workouts of your life? The, uh, yeah. Was, the, was here? It was here, yes. 2018, the desert run. In the top, easy the top three. The sand. The heat wasn't that bad because it was like, it's dry, 25. The sand was actually cool because we were like hands and feet in the sand. We, I, I, I wasn't on my feet. I was just crawling up the <laughs> sand dunes. Um, so yes, I felt the sand, it was cold, it like a little bit deeper, it was cold. Um, but yeah, that's easy, easy top three. At least now you get to run in the snow. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. it's easier than the sand. Yeah. Innovation, time to be creative, time too big to waste, so my time on critics hating. Flattered by your opinions to show you I'll just embrace it. Now watch a worldly sunrise up, no daylight savers go nuts when I... Okay, so how do you feel about the F1? Uh, I love Max one. Like, I'm, he loves, I'm he so happy. Max. Yeah, I, I wrote you boo when you posted "Let's go champ" for Hamilton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, maybe two, three months now. So I was in Cookville for um, two weeks. I, I, I was not supposed to post anything. So <laughs> because they wanted to announce it at Rogue. So uh, yeah, maybe. you were like a kid at a candy store but couldn't eat the candy. Yes, yes exactly. Yeah. yeah. So how, you just, Jazz and I find it weird too. What? That, that it's... 20. Oh, that it's like Christmas, Christmas carols, but it's smoking hot. It's the heat of summer. Yeah. Warm Christmases, eh? Come on then. Oh, that's 
<laughs> that is sour. Oh, that's like so sour sweet. Just have that. That's like Haribo Tamfastics times like a hundred. Oh, it's actually quite. It's good, isn't it? It's a little bit addictive. <laughs> <laughs> One on one. It's getting my hand eye coordination. Hold on. No, you can't. No, you can't. I've not done six months of weightlifting for nothing. I'm blaming the ball here. <laughs> if you came for riveting content today, team, this really isn't it. <laughs> you know who's really good at table tennis? Not us, but Zach George. One of the best table tennis players I've ever seen in my life. Next point wins. Like the. Like the F1. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> nice little bit stick of to weightlifting. Yeah, stick to weightlifting. <laughs> so this is the I first. I sit on a bench. I feel weird on the ground. <laughs> yeah, you sit. Oh, thank you. I'll sit next to Jess. <laughs> yeah, I would love to. Uh, so it's your. This is your first ever international competition. Yes. Things are a lot different here. I couldn't find the baby food I wanted or like the bars I wanted, but we got here early enough that I finally feel like I've gotten organized. And physically, I've been feeling everything and training come together for a long time now. Like, so I mean, you did the games before yeah. you did an international competition. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, it's not the right way around to do it, I don't know, but she crushed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I've had four really good days of training. Um, a rest day tomorrow. So and did it's you go time. did you say baby food? Yes. Is that your secret? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any flavor without banana or without vegetables. And that, that's your energy source. Yes. Nice. By the end of competitions, I never want to see baby food again. <laughs> um, but I, it's worked in the past, so I just stick to what works. Stick to what you used to. And you got your yeah. you got your parents here. Yes. They're amazing. They are my support people. I could not do this or anywhere close to what I do without them. So your career as a CrossFitter has brought your parents halfway around the world. So uh, like Absolutely. I was just saying, you've never. She was saying you've never been to Dubai. No, the so, first trip. You know, it's yeah. a great trip to do it. She's bringing us all over the world. What yeah. can I say? Yeah. Just yeah. an amazing journey. Quite a ride. I always love meeting the parents. It's the funnest part. Yeah, Like my whole family is here. I mean, my grandparents are here already. My dad came today. My mom is coming tomorrow. So it's a really huge Polish power on the stands. Did you get your Dubai shoes? These are my Dubai shoes, yeah. Yeah. Huh? To have fresh kicks. Huh? Can always rely on the whole of our family to have fresh kicks. Always, Man's got style, man. <laughs> style. Shaved head and everything. Thank you. Just being aerodynamic, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw you on that bike. It was definitely making you go quicker. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, my first reaction was spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of pressing. It, it's like the first uh, work. Level of spice of you need to put the toilet roll in the fridge or? Oh. I, I never heard that expression before, <laughs> but I guess, I guess. If you can handle the ring muscle ups, it might. Yeah, I think it'd be a, I think it could be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. It's sure not too heavy thrusters. Yeah. Now it's 40 yeah. kilos. It's going to be spicy. It's a little pressing. Uh, they do add twists in sometimes, where like things have to be unbroken. So that's like the interesting thing. Could you do that unbroken? <laughs> I could, yes, but obviously it won't be as quick doing it unbroken as not doing it unbroken. Because going unbroken, you all of a sudden have to rest a bit more. Uh, but that, that'd be the interesting one, because in the past they've had workouts like this, and then like 
you have to go unbroken. Yeah, they tell you just before you walk out and you're like, yeah. you... Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wants to know. Well, no one does, but this is going to... Are you guys together? No. <laughs> Who wears the trousers? What? Well, what does yeah, it even well, mean? Like, who's the... Okay, I know what that means. I think it's very simple. Answer. Yeah. Who's the funniest? Gabby's actually very funny. She just uh, she just needs to be comfortable and then she can crack crack a few jokes. He just <laughs> makes funny uh, of my accent. He's no, always I don't. I don't because I have a horrible accent as well. Who has the best style? Yeah. Oh come on. That's like, a very hard one as well. I wish you saw Christoph uh, heading to the airport a few days ago. He was wearing like sweatpants, some random color t-shirts on each other and then watch out for this white socks which were quite used so they are quite great no, they were not used. and white Birkenstocks because <laughs> we were coming here but in Madrid it was quite cold so you know comfort but and it wasn't yeah. even hipster anymore it was just too I'm, much I'm not hipster <laughs> that's for sure no no it's just he, he, I mean I love this <laughs> Oh, he owns his title. This is, um, this is, it might surprise you, it's not from Dolce & Gabbana, it's straight from Walmart. It's the uh, 8 eight fifty a piece. I have four of them. Can't put a price on comfort. Can't, can't put a price on comfort. Well, you can. <laughs> I was born to be victorious. Most definitely victorious. I'm destined to be victorious. To all the hate that displayed we were me. Um, this is what I'm used for, content and internet passwords. Great. <laughs> because otherwise I won't, be ma I won't make it home. <laughs> Circo 5G. Yeah, I'm fixing the VP. Uh, we made some wrong turns on the way here, so... <laughs> I think everyone made wrong turns on the way here. Also, we made wrong turns from the airport to the hotel. Interesting. How does that happen? Like, don't you just go on Uber and go to the hotel? No, 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 I, we have a car, you know? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I, mean, I was like, the Uber driver comes and I'm like, can I drive it? So are you driving the car? I am, yeah. Wow, be careful, Dubai resident. <laughs> that posture, Josie, I'm telling you. <laughs> right posture. We are unloading the SD cards. So. you got to love Josie's hustle, eh? Just works hard. This was his kitchen today. <laughs> Your box has been open for four weeks and for congratulations weeks. you've had more Thank games athletes much. in that four weeks than most boxes. I think so, right? That's surreal. <laughs> Thanks but this, this space is so cool. So, uh, team, if you're in Dubai, drop in. <laughs> this guy's a legend and the box is incredible. See you. Say bye. Thanks, Thanks man. Goodbye. So much, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Everything in there was brand new. The owner, the staff, super friendly. That's such a nice box. Yeah. It's very nice. Cross it circle. You, f you can't forget it. It's an all round box. It's a good joke, that. I heard it. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard yeah. it. Yeah, yeah well done. <laughs> As for my training today, Hang snatched 116, which was all right, you know? Knee wasn't too bad. Cleaned up to 140 in a squat, but um, still a little bit hesitant with that. You could see on my clean that my knee just, like I'm, I don't know if it's, it's a hard one coming back from injury, I'll tell you that team. It's one of the things where, you know, like, it's, it's however much you don't have it, it does ingrain itself on your brain, so you're constantly thinking about it, just even if you're not feeling it. But it is what it is, you know, I'm happy with that. You saw, you saw it earlier when Jazz took that shot, it was here. The box is literally just across the road and it does incredible food, coffee, smoothies, health juices, the works. So once you train within 50 meters, you have a spot for cool food. And ping pong. Could you beat Jacqueline Dahlstrom at ping pong? I think so, yes. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's called the courtyard. And, it's, and the shop is right at the end on the right. Comp week diet. Yes. As but much clean food as possible and then over the weekend. Just whatever I can eat. I, I always buy just like so I have a lot of like things stacked up basically. Uh, but it would go in a lot of like baby food, uh, the smoothie things that you can squeeze because that's just so easy to digest. I always have candy, just like sugar. Tell the team, what's your candy? Which, oh. Uh, you not would usually go you're not for packed like, any? No. Oh, and I need to go and buy now. It would usually just go for like Haribo. 
because it's easy to chew. I can't have the ones that are like you have to chew because that, that, that's like the hardest part of, of eating basics, like having to chew all your food. I do have some rice crackers, bananas, and then just like chocolate milk. Are you a tang fastic or a, a pl uh, what's the, the original mix? Of what? Haribo. Ah, no, the original one. Oh. Is that, is that bad? Well, no, not just, bad, just interesting. Uh, just go original. Yeah. Just original. I, so I'm going to be honest with you. Usually I'm not big on those type, like th that kind of candy. So I never eat it outside of like after training or uh, when I compete. And you're from Norway? Yes. Yeah, and Jazz ordered, uh, you ordered four bags of scum, scum tomta. She ordered four. <laughs> She ordered four bags of scum tom to. Yes. I, um, oh, I really miss it. Like, I wondered if I could get it online, and then the, I found this like online shop that did like European sweets. And I was like, amazing. It was about ten bags actually, but we'll stick with four. You chuckled. <laughs> but they are also really good actually. <laughs> Was it sabotage or friendship? No, it was actually, actually so. <laughs> I I actually quite really enjoy baking, and I also enjoy eating fresh baked food. Is that what you're saying? Uh, the, but the thing is, like John is always like, no, I don't think you should bake because I don't want to eat it, and if you make it, I will eat it. And then no, it was actually more. And then Christoph came, and Christoph loves bread and like stuff like that. So I was like, yes, someone will eat it if I make it. But I, I didn't think that like, Gabby also loves it. I didn't know that Gabby loved it as much as Christoph because she usually composed herself, but Christoph doesn't compose herself. But basically, during lockdown, it was a lot of good I think it's a, a good hidden food. agenda it's a bit to you make can see me fat. Because actually, Jackie got super, super lean during lockdown. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> No, I also ate sweets. But she ate some. I ate, I, but I did, I don't know, I did actually go, uh, I had struggled a lot to put that way back on again. I don't know, I went, I actually did go super lean. And I also ate all the And stuff. you just can't resist oh, freshly baked. Good. Or maybe I had, I, I knew about chorizo, but I really didn't uh, <laughs> explore it that much. And when I, uh, when I moved to Spain, I officially went into chorizo high. And I was putting chorizo to everything, into omelets, into... Uh, lunch uh, dishes. Very good that <laughs> it was kind of frittata omelette. So I was uh, doing omelette on the pan, and then I put the pan on the inside the oven. And of course, chorizo is the main ingredient. <laughs> good times, fat times. Fat times. Done. Saturday, thank you for asking. You have a good day in the kitchen? Very good day. Um, now go uh, get to the hotel, chill for a little bit and then get uh, to the edit. Oh! Oh, we are. Jesse's Uber's gonna get here before hours. Outrageous. Outrageous. The Athlete Hotel. Jazz really doesn't like glass lifts. Oh, it's not so bad going down, is it? Like, ooh. 